myself. What's up, guys? Yeah. Just do something intro. stupid in the intro. Yes. <laughs> What's it doing? Oh. All right. Just don't keep that. <laughs> I will keep some of it. Don't you worry. So we've decided we're gonna drive down because, well, anything could, could away, really bro. happen. Yeah, bro. We've never done something this crazy just by ourselves. By the way, I just want you guys to know, not only are we putting our lives in risk for content, <laughs> um, it's also freezing. Well, it is so cold under. Oh, I forgot my jacket. Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck, cut this shit. We gotta go back. We don't have to, do we? Do you want your bloody jacket? I've got another jumper in the car, I could just oh, double do oh, it. What the fuck are we doing? <laughs> Get in the car, Batman, we've got places to go. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's right in your face. It's cold. This is a bit cold. Oh, it's, please let me in. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm trying to get the keys out and they're not. Alright, we're in boys. Let's go. We're gonna do a little lap around, check everything, but not do the sus spot first, which we're scared of. Which is Right, Danny. Leave that to really terrify us until the end. Everything looks like it's still the way we left it. We closed this earlier, it was like open, and we draped the padlock around. So and that it, is exactly. That is exactly. We have a photo Abby took earlier it's today. It's a picture here. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> All right, we're gonna probably do that last just because witching hour is almost here, but not yet. Oh, so that... I forgot. So the street with no name is notoriously known to be one of the most haunted places in New South Wales, which is the state we live in, and it's one of the most haunted streets in the world. Like you look up any website and it'll be like the top 10 or the top 20 and it is there. So I'm really scared for tonight, this morning, but. I think we're gonna head to the grandstand first, I think. If we have access to that, I have no idea yet. I got my Vans backpack. Yeah. I reckon. Right? Jordan's in the van backpack. She's repping all kinds of brands. So, I think, I think he... So this is where the... Um, guy got hit. Yeah, unfortunately the worker got hit by the train trying to save a little possum. There was also another guy who died on the railway tracks. He cr was crossing the tracks to save a possum. There are a lot of possums, possums around here. Coincidentally, we saw a possum climb up a tree as soon as, as, we, soon parked, as we parked. Bobby. Yeah. Don't ask me why. Um, and he unfortunately got mowed down by a <laughs> Mowed down. <laughs> I can't even continue. <laughs> he unfortunately um, got hit by an oncoming tram and um, died. So. I think it was a tram because it used to be train lines and they switched it to tram. So. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't. I think it was Tram, but it could be wrong. But yeah, I don't know. Either or, Matt. Anyways, he's dead anyway, so. And. <laughs> so. Imagine if Tram just comes speeding through. Well, they don't run it this time, so I'd be a bit worried if it did. Oh my god, it's just there. Oh, okay. Let's go. Let's roll. We're on a little excursion. Oh my god, she's running. <laughs> oh! <laughs> We just got jump scared by one of these. Bro. Oh my god. Wait, bro, why does it. <laughs> wait, wait for it to change. Do you it's hear so that noise? Loud. That noise just came. It starts with a swipe. Fuck. Wait, really? I'm gonna do it as it goes up, really? Oh shit. <laughs> okay, that content. noise. No alcohol in this area, please. Oh, damn it. Most equipment acquired for tonight. Handy dandy K2 meter. This picks up all the ghosties. Um, EMF detector. Any sort of, if I bring it close to the camera. Is it bob is it beeping? Okay, never mind. That was a fail. <clears throat> that can go on the blooper reel. Voice recorder. Catch the ghosties. Voice. And me. Hi, I'm an equipment. Psychic radio. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do this shit. Right, I want to ask you to edit that cringy dance out, but I feel like when I watch this back, it's definitely going to be. Well, we know from previous times that I keep the bad stuff in the videos. Keep doing that shit, Brian. You're going to have to find yourself a new partner. On the grandstand, a homeless man got stabbed or bludgeoned to death. Stabbed. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's like, what's that? You need to be so aggressive, you're like, got stabbed. 
And um, <laughs> we could show you, but the part of that grandstand where he was sitting, it's been replaced, like the wood's different, so we can show you that. What I'm gonna show you guys is, where is it? I saw it on the video. So, if you look at the lips, oh, it's here, it's right here. So if you look at the lips of the stairs here, notice how right here it sort of is like that. And it goes all the way down there like that. But when you come around here, the lip changes and it's more prominent and comes out more. So they replace this area because this is the place where the homeless guy had died. So Just casually. That's calibrating by the way. Is there anyone here that would like to talk to us? Please. <laughs> Should I sit in his spot? If you are unfortunately the man that sadly passed away here, we've heard some stories that you still hang around. Do you want to use this device? You can tap it, make a turn for any colour you want. Could you communicate with us? No? <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> Yet again, oh, yes. we're still learning about the paranormal and if things still linger after they die. Like, we don't know if, like, places are indefinitely haunted. Yeah, especially with, I find, in my psychic medium fan, <laughs> um, I have, there's a lot of residual energy in places, but sometimes it's residual energy from, like, the trauma that's happened, not so much the body that stayed there, if that makes sense. Yeah. So, for me, this area feels very sad in that a tragedy happened and the residual energy of like what went down yeah but other than that it's feeling pretty calm unfortunately over here it feels just very heavy because yeah. you know at the end of the day someone passed away and you have to have to respect that they're not always out here for your communication <laughs> yeah so not unfortunately but just as um, we explained earlier, just because someone dies here doesn't mean they're gonna linger here. But that's, I guess that's debunked. Nothing's really haunted debunked. here. So we're gonna move over to the next plot, which will be the creepy viaducts. Um, in the 60s, so in 1968, a three-year-old boy named Simon um, disappeared from his front yard and he was found within 24 hours of him going missing just off the street with no name unfortunately dead there was a man they thought maybe did it but they couldn't exactly tie it to him and then unfortunately the man died of lung cancer before he could be convicted mm -hmm. um, following that in 1976 there was a 12 year old boy who also went missing within 24 hours of his body being found again just off the street um, and then seven months almost to the day after that the third 12 year old boy was found beaten to death and one was stabbed one was beaten to death on just off the street in the yeah. same spot uh, and someone did get convicted for that he got convicted of both sentences and he got two life sentences with no parole so it's known to hold the ghosts of the children i wonder why they're children though that's what i want to figure I out i don't know because the guy who murdered the first, the like the last two 12 year olds he yeah. was 17. So I feel yeah. like that was just like a weird this teenager's beginning just of a other. serial killer. Yeah. You know, nothing too spooky. It's just a bit a, worrying. Just a serial killer on the loose. Just, oh, well, that's a big step. Be careful. <laughs> <laughs> almost died. We almost Bro, died. I look like Click Flashback back. Mary. Please calm down. We almost died. Clickbait. Click. Uh, this light is very blinding too. I don't know how to feel about it, but... So the viaducts, <laughs> rightio, viaducts are over here somewhere. So we're going to that. It's cold. She's cold. I'm not. Oh, you left me in the car for 20 minutes tonight. It was like actually more. It was like an hour or so. It was fully like an hour. I got stuck talking to like these ghost investigator guys. Love them so much. They're, They're so cool. Very but cute, I actually think even up like in just this area here is like where. Well, they were dumped, someone said. More or less. But, bro, I can't tell if our shoes are squeaking, but I'm hearing something. And I'm freaking out. It's just your shoes, bro. Bro, I don't look behind this. I'm oh, sorry. That's oh. Like... Oh. No, this is... Oh, God. Why do you keep doing that? It was my eyes. You don't have to bleep all of my swearing. I'm so sorry. Should we do a cheeky little run across the oven? 
No. Last one to the other side has to sit alone. Oh, don't you dare. You know I'll run for my life though. Peyton, Peyton. Just kidding. I haven't run. I haven't ran? Hello. I haven't ran. I don't where run. Where are, we? where are we going? Just to this one with the doors. Right. Oh, right. Which what? is now, I think, like a storage facility. Or I think it used to have a cafe in it and now it's just a storage facility. Hard to tell. So we are here. What is on my lens right now? Hello? Hmm. I'm gonna try something. Yeah. Right. Do you know what's weird now? Hmm. Why one's why one's bugging out? <gasps> what the fuck? Hello? Has it got a dead battery? I hope not. Did we bring spare batteries? Oh my god, we're not even in there yet. This doesn't feel like mine. This feels like a... The thing's more springy. What do you mean it doesn't feel like, like yours? I think... There's someone walking. I feel like this is one of the ones in the ghost equipment things. Like you, re the, you reckon? The rent out ones. Because this button feels a lot springy and why is it all so fucked? That's true, yours is not normally like that. No, mine's good. So why good. is it not staying on? Yeah, mine's just busted. It doesn't work. So we just saw some people climb on a roof to fucking spray paint and now we're deciding to enter because we're really scared that random people might come in here because people do at night and we feel like if it's going to be anyone who comes in, it's going to be them so we're not psyching ourselves out anymore. So we're going to go in now, so let's do it. Peyton, if you'd like to do the honors, don't okay. make it loud, please, for the love of God. <laughs> just don't drop it on the floor, just grab both sides. Proceeds to make it loud. Oh. It's alright, and then just. <laughs> don't, please. Alright, and then we've got a. Do we close it or just leave it? That way we have an escape route is something happening. Yes. Alright. Oh my god, you cannot see anything. Do you know hang on, can you hold this so I can get my flashlight out? You can't even see anything on the fucking camera, it's that dark. Okay, we're in. Alright, let's go. Okay, let's bring the K2 meter out. That doesn't fucking work though. Can we use mine? Yeah, probably. We're in the dark, but alright. Sorry. Okay, I feel like okay now we're in here. Okay. Yeah. We're just gonna suss out like if anything sort of happens on this device. So. There are a lot of possums. I was gonna say, I keep sucking myself out in the room, it's just possums. If there is anything here that haunts you that was killed here and you'd like to come speak to us, we invite you. Come talk to us. If there's so many animals, I'm freaking out. I know, dude. Um, so I just keep hearing rustling. I know. I'm so fucking scared. It's just music. Hang on, this is so vulnerable. At the back of the camera. An exit? An exit. Did you hear that? Yeah, bro. Do you want me to hold the flashlight so I can put it behind you? Is there anything? Just, yeah, I'll just hold it. Hello? Is that. Let's go turn it off for a sec. I keep hearing noises. And I cannot see anything. Everything is black around me. But there is stuff coming through here. Can you tell you how fucking scared I am right now, Abby? I'm gonna shit my pants. Should I go near the fence? I feel like I should be in bed. Let's do it. 
Let's do it. <laughs> I'm just very on edge, Bray. I'm on edge. Yeah, how do you think I feel? It, everything looks black around me. Like, everything looks black. Oh my god, well, I don't know yeah, how to when, fix my, that. when I look away, everything's blinded from the lights. You ready? Yeah. Hang on. Usually the volume goes is louder. Oh, it's so loud. Did you hear that with a scream? Look at that snail. <gasps> Ew! <laughs> it's an egg. It's an egg. How is there anything that would like to communicate with us? I had a yes. Can you give us a name? Sorry, can you repeat that? Because there's another one! So funny. Ew! Ew! They're so big. Oh my god, if they come anywhere near me, I'm going. We invite anyone to oh come god, talk to us. Did we step on one? Look at your feet. Find herself. Go, oh, we're on to. I'm trying to feel the shit. I'm just scared. Stop worrying about the sails. If there is anything here that would like to communicate with us, I invite you to come forward and talk to us. We also have a light that you can come to, which will light up more if you come towards it. Can anyone... Not a problem? I have done a problem. Can we get a name? I'm afraid. What are you afraid of? It said something, but I have no idea. I just can stop, stop for a second. I thought I heard someone say hello for a Oh, that's good. For real? It might have been those two boys. Dude, I'm shitting my pants right now. What's the fucking thing? I'm more scared of the fucking slug infestation than the actual guys. The, the size of these motherfuckers, hang on. <laughs> they are massive. Dude, that looks like something from Harry Potter. Are you kidding me? Do you know how many of those we've probably stepped on? Do you know what we can do? If we invite whatever is around us now, we can invite it to walk sort of <laughs> near, the, <laughs> near the gate and then we can just sort of do it out there. Yeah. If you feel safer doing it out there yeah. and then we'll be in the light and we could do Estes. 100%. Stuff happened around the park, not necessarily in here, except the satanic 100%. killing. 100%. And we're, on a, we're not picking up much over here anyway. I'm hearing things. Yeah, but it's, I feel like it's more just like music. I think the last thing I want to do before we leave here is just find out about the satanic killing. Cool. If you want to do it now. If you're fine with doing it. Yep. Alright. There is also said to be a murder which is the first satanic killing in Sydney or more or less New South Wales. Yeah. And it was just... There used to be a car park in the street but it's all overgrown now and she was killed in a car. I don't know how it's satanic related, but it is, which makes it even worse. It's a, um, I think it was around the era where satanic panic was a thing. Where it's like everyone was in a cult or joining a cult or worried about cults. Like satanic rituals and whatnot were being tied to everything and everyone was just freaking out. Yeah. So it could have just been un an unfortunate murder, but it was like tied to satanic things, but it's supposed to bring some very dark energies to the street so yeah and a lot of people do say they experience like weird feelings like nausea they smell weird odors and they just feel really like unwelcomed in there so great for us oh absolutely super funny. excited yeah so is that hang on need to be blurry. I feel like it's all right if it's less loud because then it's, when it's quiet when it's quiet I feel like I can hear more of what they're saying yeah. We heard that there was a satanic killing in the street. Can you give us more information about that, if anyone knows? I don't want to ask it. But is there anything evil residing in the street? Still one? That's what I heard. Is there anything still here that's bad? Yes? It was like, yes? <laughs> um, can you give us any information 
about the satanic killing? For what? I don't know. Nothing, bro. Is there anyone here with us? Give us a clear, single sign that you that we can tell that you're here with us. Well, this ain't even lighting up. I know. We can give it a whip. Watch out for the fucking They're slugs, like bro. Or something, bro. I don't know. battery got left? Um, yeah, I don't even know how to tell. Okay. Oh yes, I did down the bottom. We've probably got like three, four minutes left. Alright, this is our final chance to talk. If anything is here and you're willing to speak to us and you've died here and you haunt this place, come talk to us now. <laughs> We'd like to hear your story. Just cash. Just casually. Just uh, we got a spirit box, you can come up and talk to it. We mean no harm. We just want to get your story out of what happened. All right, you ready? Yeah. This is Esther's for that the blind fell because anything can happen. <laughs> We're in Sydney, bro. I at three a.m. All right, let's go. Is there anyone here that would like to talk to us? The people. The people want to talk to us. We heard there was some possible satanic. Daddy, killings. if you want. Are you liar? Are you one of the three boys that passed away here? Do you have anything you'd like to ask us or tell us? Can we help you in any way? You guys. Yes, us. We can help you. Tell us how to help you. This is your last Hello? chance for the night. Hello. Hi. Wow. Thanks. Something. Couldn't help me. I can help you. I can help you. Can you tell me your name? Right. Can you tell me your name? Who am I speaking with? No. You don't want to talk to me? I can help you. Is there a reason why you still stay here on the street? No. Are you stuck here? He left. Who left? The evil? Did the evil leave? I'm just going to put it on a different setting real quick. Okay. Make it go fast. Is anything making sense? I'm um, a little bit bits in here, but I keep hearing footsteps and I'm shitting my bed. You hear footsteps? Yeah, bro. Like from over there. Dead ass. Dead ass. Holy fuck. Okay. But I think it might be people. Like on the other side. Oh. Yeah, that's too slow. We're gonna go the absolute fastest we can go. Cool. Hard mode. I'm gonna ask again for the final time tonight if there is anything here that would like to communicate with us. Please do so. You can talk through my friend Abby here. If you put your energy into this little device, she will tell me exactly what you're trying to tell me. Anyone here tonight? Do you, want us, do you want us to leave? Only you. You only want me to leave? Hey. Hi. What's your name? How's this? Yes, I can hear you. What can I do for you? <laughs> What's I'm your here. name? What's your name? I'm here forever. You're stuck? I live... You live on the street with no name? Help and I don't know what he said after that. How can I help you? Tell me how I can help you and then I'll go. Something attach. Something's attached to you? Can you tell yeah. me can you tell me who I'm speaking to? Who am I speaking open to? Open up. Or open. No, you cannot you cannot follow us home. You have to stay here. Who am I speaking She's with? back? Who's back? The girl that was killed in the satanic ritual? Is there anything else you need to tell us? Anything? Help me. How can I help you? Don't Bruh. tell me, you'll figure it out. How, how do I figure it out? You have to tell me. Lonely. You're lonely? I think I had to stay. 
No, we can't stay. How many more tears? I also had that. We can't that stay also with was you. A song, I think. <laughs> <laughs> we can't stay with you. We've got maybe three more minutes. We can talk to you. If you have anything, yeah. you'd, anything you'd like us to know before we head out. I think it must be you. Hey. Do you want us to leave you in peace? It's almost 4 a.m. It is almost 4 a.m. <laughs> and we literally got back. <laughs> and we just were so docile. I'm dead. Yeah. Keep in mind, we've been up since 7.30. We got up at 7 to drive like an hour and a half here. We've done a whole day's worth of stuff. Yeah. Um, and we did a secret investigation <laughs> this afternoon. You'll know more about that soon. Cheeky little sneak peek. <laughs> Literally what we just did is like, we're like, oh, we need to do Estes. And that thing on our phone said, we need to sit and talk. <laughs> For Homestead. Oh yeah. Cheeky little sneak peek. Something we did exciting today that you'll see more of later. Apologies if we didn't capture much. We tried and we were also very scared. So yeah, you had to be there, bro. It was terrifying. Like imagine you constantly hear like possums in the bushes, which you then think, oh my god, someone could be there. It's and it's just like everything in that place is like overgrown. You don't know what's in the back there. We showed you like there was the tent. Yeah. Like we just don't really know. Like even though the gate wasn't moved from where we set it up earlier, like. You're just so on edge in that situation. I don't think it was that haunted. No, bro. I give a 5 out of 10. Max. I think it's only haunted because of all the killings that happened there. But even then... Like, okay, two meters didn't go off. I mean, my battery got drained, but, like, I heard a bit through the spirit box. But... To be fair to your battery, though, like, we did go walking all around the oval as well. Like... <sighs> The light probably drains it as well because it's all plugged in together. Yeah, the microphone. Like you've got to take into account things that could possibly debunk crap like that. That was also a really long snail. So oh whatever. my god, that was some of my worst nightmare. <laughs> if you've ever watched Harry Potter and you know the scene <laughs> I'm talking about, where Ron gets sick and like throws off slugs, those motherfuckers were everywhere. That was the scariest part of the night. Yeah. The wildlife. <laughs> the bottoms and the slugs. <laughs> they were. <laughs> Anyways, we'll see you guys next time at a private investigation at our homestead. If you made it this far, thanks for subscribing. <laughs> I mean, thanks for... <laughs> thanks for what? Thanks for making it this far. <laughs> thanks for watching. Um, <laughs> <laughs> if you're from Australia and you want to come on these trips, make sure to join a, nor a fuck, abnormal club in the description below. Um, the Discord. That's what it is. Yeah, bro, we do all sorts of chats. We've got all different channels. Lots of great people on there. And you can meet. And you can get the chance to come on an investigation with us, so. People don't realize that we live <laughs> like four hours away from each other. Yeah. If not more. Four and a half. -ish. Four and a half. Do you know how hard it is to collaborate on a YouTube channel when you live four hours away from each other? <laughs> Crazy. So if anyone looks near Canberra, um, hit me up. <laughs> Even though I might be moving to Sydney, anywho, anyhow. Anyhow. Um, anyways, make sure to subscribe, like, um, follow the TikTok, follow the socials, make sure to check out the painting. Don't forget about her, guys. Yeah, please, jeez. <laughs> Give her all her the bloody hype. <laughs> God. Alright. Peace. <laughs>